Listen, you're not gonna find anything on me, okay? Trust me. Empty your pockets into the tray, sir, or we'll have to. Your pockets, sir? Lady, the problem isn't in my pants. No! Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. We've got breaking X-Men news right here on the channel. And here with me to talk about that is uh, comic book writer, award-winning editor, Joe Corrala. How you doing? I'm all right, Wes. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. So we've been talking about the the odd state of X-Men at the moment. Obviously, we're moving up towards Hellfire Gallop. We've already had Children of the Atom. Way of X, I believe, is coming here in a few weeks. Then we got X-Corp. But we have three new titles coming out after Hellfire Gala, the big, I guess, summer event that we've been talking about. The first big news is they are rebooting X-Men back to issue number one. Jonathan Hickman is no longer going to be the X-Men writer. It's going to be Jerry Duggan. And we're finally going to get the artist that we all wanted on X-Men to begin with, Pepe Larraz, uh, coming in. Not sure how long that he's going to be the, the full-time yeah. artist. But if you think about this, in 20. 18 at the very end of the year i believe it was in november they restarted uncanny x-men to number one in 2019 yeah. they restarted x-men number one i believe at, in october november mm -hmm. and now in the midway point of 2021 we're restarting x-men again so three reboots in less than 36 months yeah it's uh it, it's a lot and uh, like you mentioned, uh, who knows how long Pepe Larraz is going to be on the book? Is it going to be for three issues, six issues? Um, usually it seems like uh, an artist like Pepe Larraz, it would be, you know, maybe for like an arc and, yeah. and, and move on to something else. So I don't know if that's going to be indicative. Um, I, I think there's a better chance of, of Jerry Duggan sticking to the book for uh, a while. Um does, does this mean he's going to stay on Marauders or is someone else going to take over Marauders? Like there's, there's a lot of questions here. Well, my big question is we know that in Hellfire Gala, one of the big events that's going to happen is there we're finally going to get an actual X-Men team. They're naming it. People have voted for it. Mm -hmm. Is that really such a monumental event? Have people, has the X-Men series, is it going to change so dramatically and the direction just going to shift so suddenly that it really warrants a break and a reboot to number one, because that's going to piss a lot of people off. I wasn't sure that was a, a problem with, with these books that people had. No one um, uh, I know has discussed, like, I, I when are we going to get next team? Like, people, there are already teams in, in different books. I, I kind of just thought it was more or less we, we were following these characters they didn't have to be a, a team so so that's also confusing i i don't know why the emphasis on that why that's a, a point for for restarting you know when uh storm took over uh uncanny x-men they didn't go back to uncanny x-men number one uh you, you know there are seismic shifts that happen in these books all the time that that don't get these constant resets so I, I really don't understand. Nor do I. And obviously, <laughs> Jonathan Hickman, who's the head of X, was he's the big name that is associated with the brand in, sure. in the reboot when he did House of X, Powers of Ten, Dawn of X, felt like that was his vision. Mm. Now he's no longer associated with the, with the flagship book. It, it feels like, I don't know, is Jerry... I, don't, I personally have not enjoyed Jerry Duggan's work on Marauders as sure. much as some and i didn't like it on cable at all mm -hmm. like is jerry the guy that should be leading the ship here yeah I, I mean i think when you're looking at what what the people are, are doing there it was it was going to be probably jerry or ben percy based on what they were doing um marauders was definitely more of a team book ish than, than some of the others um and since cable's ending you know, give him some more to do that. I imagine they did that to give him room so he could write this book. That's That's got to be part of it. Uh, it seems like that trying to have your cake and eat it too. It seems like they're trying to do the, the best of both worlds here. They're like, okay, so Hickman's story, we can do that into a, uh, you know, we can continue that stuff 
and and these other aspects of the run that he's been meaning to get to and we can split that into its own number one and then we give jerry a number one so we can inflate sales that way while hickman is technically still telling his story it's just in a new book and <laughs> yeah that, that seems to be what they're doing I think it's crazy. I, I don't think that this really warrants a restart. Like I said, this will be the third restart of the flagship X-Men book in less than 36 months. Sure. But that's not the only thing that we're getting. There are two uh, titles that we, we're not really sure what the name of, of them are. We'll talk about the one that's coming out in September. Obviously, this is the one from Jonathan Hickman. The artist's name is Redacted. But I think everyone has to assume that this is the Moira X book that we've all been kind of waiting for. It had been rumored yeah. before. Also, there was that recent uh, Adventures in Poor Taste uh, interview they did where they, they asked about Moyer X and Jonathan Hick was kind of playing coy. Yeah. So I imagine that is in reference to this. This is the Moyer X book we've kind of all been waiting for. Yeah, he kind of, I, I believe he made like a joke about like a forgetting yeah. about Moira. But um, but yeah, this book was supposed to happen a while ago. Um, it's, it's already been about, by the time this comes out, it's going to be about two years um that's a long time to wait for a follow-up on on something um i i don't know like the excitement for for me at least has tampered a bit uh, I, i'm still interested i still want to see where it's going to go but when you hit the pause button that long on something like this like he's gotta completely knock it out of the park every issue for it to seem like it was really worth it if if, if he trips out the gate on, on moira x that's that's bad so with this redact redacted artist we know it's not gonna be pepe de Ras. Sure. he's doing the new x-men series it's not rb silva i don't believe because he's doing fantastic four sure it sounds like lionel francis you who Hickman has worked with a lot in the past, was doing his X-Men work before. I don't think it's probably him. Do you think this is a new artist that's coming back to the fold or like a big name, name person? Or do you think they're just kind of screwing with us? Uh, I, I'm leaning towards screwing with us and, and that it's going to be like, you know, it's it's going to be a good artist, but it's just going to be like... Ed McGinnis. You know, like it's, it's going to be someone where it's like, you need to redact that name. Uh, it's fine. Unless it's John Romita Jr. And this is... The that big thing, book. yeah, that that like, oh, we're getting, you know, J.R. J.R. back and, and he's coming in with a bang with this book and he's really, you know, firing on all cylinders. And, um, and there that. was speculation that he might be doing that Moon Knight series with Jed McKay, but there, that's a different artist. So he's definitely not on that project. Yeah. So so that could be it. You know, obviously, J.R. J.R. has a history with X-Men. So that that would make a lot of sense. And it would make sense why you redact it, because when you're putting these things together, you don't know necessarily which thing's going to roll out first. Uh, you know, they might have been getting this ready before the JRJ announcement. And, you know, so so it's very possible that's where this is landing. So obviously, we've been waiting to, to hear the further tales of Moyer X and what she's doing as she's kind of secluded. Uh, do you think this will include that destiny storyline that we've all been waiting for that as well with with mystique to where there was a conspiracy amongst like charles magneto and moira not to to um resurrect destiny because they didn't want any more like telepaths on the island or i'm sorry not telepaths but um the future. Yes. yes so yeah i mean it's it's got to be in this book. We we've waited way too long. You, you got like that's why I'm saying like this this has to fire on all cylinders. This has to blow everything else out of the water to do it like this. So I'm hoping if they have someone like Jr. Jr. that he took the time to do a lot in advance that they really roll this out with a bang and, and it's just a like you, you know ba boom ba boom ba boom like we're gonna find out more about. Moira, Destiny, Mystique. We're going to find out more about Xavier and, and all the stuff about Why Not Preka and really uh, just have a, a knockout book to get everyone, you know, uh, back into the fold. I, I think that's what they need. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not launching it before the new X-Men reboot because I think it is going to piss some people off 
once they realize that they've rebooted that and Jonathan Ickwin's no longer on the project. But we shall see how that goes. Now, in between X-Men number one and this, what we believe to be Moira X series, mm -hmm. there is another one that it's been classified. It's Leah Williams, Valerio Shitty. Now, back to what you were saying earlier about Pepe the Raz, mm -hmm. Valerio Shitty is the artist that relaunched S.W.O.R.D. with Al Ewing. Obviously, they're moving over to a new title already. Not even going to last uh, a year on that series. Well, well less than a year. Yeah, uh, you know, it's just another reason not to kind of trust the, the artist to sell a book anymore. Yeah, yeah, for for sure. We'll 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 see what happens. We'll see how long he's on the book. Maybe he, yeah. maybe he's balancing the two a bit. Maybe it's maybe he's launching this and then going back to sort. Like uh, who knows? Like yeah, it's just one of those weird games they do now this is the rumor that i'm hearing about this leah williams book and it kind of makes sense it's going to be called the druid that's the rumor i hear and it's going to be about richter if you look at the part of the name that's classified and covered up you can see how the the first letter would be a t then an h and an e and a d and r all the way until you don't really you can't really see any indications that a d might be the last letter sure. so i'm somewhat inclined to believe this and we know richter in the past has been associated with X Factor, which is the book Leah Williams is writing. Yeah. What do you, you think that's probably, or a good idea of what's going to be happening there? That That's probably it. Um, you, you know, I, I'm a fan of Richter. I really loved uh, what they did with him in Peter David's uh, uh, X Factor Investigations series. Um, I, I have that whole series. I, I love it. Um, I don't, this is where it gets uh, again like confusing it feels like they're really watering down this line because it's like can you support two effectively two x-factor books with with everything else going on are, are they going to be canceling some stuff um will they wrap up x-factor to do the druid and then relaunch x-factor as a new number one later like is that what's going to happen like i i don't i don't know my assumption, and I don't know about this, I haven't heard this sure. rumor, is that this this Druid book will be like a mini series, probably to okay. reincorporate Victor into X Factor. But I that would be the most logical scenario in my mind. Yeah, no, that that would make a lot of sense to do this as a, a you know like a five issue mini series or, or or something like that to to bring him back. I mean, um, again, I I like that character a lot. It, it'd be cool to see him being used more. I don't think it warrants a miniseries to reincorporate Richter, despite the fact that I'm a, a fan of the character. I think you can just have him show up. It's, it's okay. But but yeah, I, I mean, unless, you know, it's they incorporate some other aspects to it. They bring in new people. There's uh, some other big thing happens in that that's going to have ripple effects with the other books. You know, I, I guess we'll see. But, you know. Sure. So it appears that within you know 2021, we're getting Children of the Atom already launched, mm -hmm. Way of X, X mm -hmm. Corp. We're relaunching X Men. So that's not a new series; it's just a reboot. Yeah. The Druid and Moyer X. So six new titles, and we're losing Cable. So five five new titles, five new titles, and then we're losing one on an already pretty bloated X-Men line. I just, I think it's yeah. nuts, Joe. Tell me I'm wrong. Please talk me off the ledge here. No, I, I, I think it's absolutely insane. Uh, it doesn't make any sense at all, uh, except that it looks like, you know, if, if the Druid's a miniseries, um, I, I've also heard back and forth, Way of X is going to be a miniseries or not. If, if that's a miniseries and the Druid's a miniseries and uh, maybe some of these others... Are, you know, obviously, Children of the Atoms also uh, a miniseries. Um, so it looks like we might be shifting gears in the X line to having uh, fewer ongoing titles while doing more miniseries. To kind of explore some of the, the, the things that Jonathan Hickman uh, started in House of X Powers of 10. Yeah, I it gets you a lot more number ones that way. Absolutely, but Joe, where are they going to talk about the phalanx? It feels like that was a big deal that we needed to pay attention to. Is there room in the X-Men title? It sounds like it's going to be about the X-Men team. The Moyer X book doesn't seem like it would fit the phalanx. Like, is 
Jonathan Hickman just kind of dropping a lot of this stuff that felt like it was going to be important? I, I could see the phalanx uh, bouncing back and forth between X-Men and Moira X. I, I could mm-hmm. see that kind of being something to try to tie those books together to keep people buying both. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the strategy because, you know, with Hickman leaving X-Men and Jerry Duggan taking over, I think they're going to want stuff that ties into what Hickman's doing with Moira X to keep people uh, buying the book. I, I'll be honest. I never thought I would hear you say Hickman leaving X-Men and Jerry Duggan taking over. But we're only in 2021. Yep. We're still early in the year. So it should be yep. some crazy things coming up in X-Men. Um not exactly yeah. what I was expecting. I didn't think they were yeah. going to be rebooting the title. I didn't think we would be getting all these new titles, but yeah. But uh, X X Corp's supposed to be a mini series too, right? Or we don't know yet. It's not what I had heard, but okay. It kind of makes sense that it would be an ongoing, since that's a big portion of like the the storyline and how they're kind of um, in, exerting influence over the world. Yeah. But, so. You know, but but we'll we'll see. It's it's going to be interesting. We'll we'll see if they all keep going. Uh, the the announcement itself on on Twitter uh, seemed to confuse a lot of people. Uh, people are asking a lot of questions like, are they going to do Reign of X trades like they're doing the Dawn of X trades for all the people that have been buying the Dawn of X trades? Um, how that would get mapped out? Um, you know, people just generally being confused on if Jerry was taking over the book or not, thinking, you know, confusing it with the planet size X Men logo. Mm-hmm. Um, people then also just not being sure of the future of the other books because the other books aren't on there. I mean, this is just supposed to be launching new titles, but it's like at the end of the year, does this mean we're wrapping up Marauders and other books? Like, what, what what's going on? I, I think this is. It's a confusing rollout. Um, there's potential that this is going to elevate things with Moira X. Um, I, you know, it, no matter what, I, I'm going to have to pick that up because Moira has been probably the most interesting part of all this. So I got to do that. And and I do suspect that it's going to tie heavily into X-Men to keep people buying X-Men. Yeah. So... So those those are probably going to be the like co flagship books moving forward. I imagine so. So I want to say thank you very much to Joe for joining me here talking about this breaking news and we we're in the rate of X and we've got big changes coming throughout the year. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news and reviews, and don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.